Hello Aries, how are you? I hope you're feeling good today. I hope things are going for you very well and you're having a good week. This is for February week four. Just doing the cards, giving them a good shuffle ready. Messages for the sign of Aries for February week four, 2020. What messages do we have for you? Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. Oh, the first card to flip. Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups can be re-evaluation. It could be you're very, very contented at this moment. And there's an offer here, but you don't see it yet. Or you're just ignoring it. Let's see what other cards come out with this. Yeah. Ten of Cups. I get the feel of contentment here, but this offer coming in offers so much more than your present position. I'm getting the feeling from this Four of Cups, you're, you're sort of evaluating your life, but at the same time, you're very, very contented with what's going on. You're in your comfort zone, so to speak. And... Whoever this person is you're dealing with, I feel there's, they're offering you something a lot more. But you're sort of either not knowing it's there or just not seeing the signs or you're just ignoring it completely. Yeah. Nine of Wands. You see how this is you, Aries, and you're being wooed by the, this person offering this cup. But you're sort of... They're offering you the world. And you're sort of ignoring it. You're either ignoring it or you haven't seen it yet. Somebody's giving you signs of how they feel. Now, this can be in a work situation. But somebody's giving you hints as to how they feel, dropping hints. There is, an, there is a big energy around you, I'm feeling, that... Somebody's dropping hints and you're not picking up on it. Yeah. Somebody wants to go the distance with you. There it is. This is the Hierophant. This is commitment. For some, it's marriage. But it's blessed. It's a blessed union. And take it how it resonates on what level this union it can mean the signing of contracts and it can, as I said, mean everything from a very, very strong connection in marriage, partnership, in work. But there's a strong bond here between you. Yeah, there will be a breakthrough. The sun. I feel that somebody's feelings... They have very, very high regard for you and they've been dropping hints but you haven't picked up. And I feel what they're going to do is drop stronger hints or come and tell you. They're going to come in and tell you. They're going to spell it out for you, so to speak, Aries. Usually you're quite astute. Fire signs are usually quite astute, worldly, very experienced. They, they sort of have an intuitive idea, a full idea of what's going on around them. It's, this, this is why I'm feeling that this Four of Cups energy is you're not, you're aware it's there, but you're sort of ignoring it at the moment. Yeah. The High Priestess. Yeah, they're not revealing their feelings. Not at this time. But they they definitely want a beginning and to settle with you. Four of Wands. This is the overall energy I'm getting. With the Sun card being here, it will be revealed. They will come to you. Or this could be you towards them. 
you may be in a situation where you want to connect with somebody and you're not revealing how you truly feel. Yeah. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. There's an awful lot of love here. So you have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups. There's the Hierophant here. There's the Four of Wands here. Yeah, it's going to come to light. Somebody's going to act and communicate. Ace of Swords. Somebody's going to let you know how they feel, or you're going to you're going to go to them and let you know how they feel. As I say, you're very intuitive. You usually switched on to your surroundings, and you sort of probably feel that they're there, but you're not responding, not properly. And the choice is down to your free will. Do you want this? But somebody's going to express their feelings. They're going to come in and express them. On that note, Aries, I wish you a very, very good week. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.